Yo, what is going on guys? Everything Tech Time here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to reset your bootloader on Windows back to the default if you're using Grub. Now basically what I mean by the Grub bootloader, you probably already know what it is, but basically if you're dubbing Linux and when you boot up your PC you have two options, like one to boot into Windows and one to boot into Linux, you're probably using Grub. And so I'm just going to show you guys what I mean right now, basically when you restart your computer. Alright, so I'm just going to show you guys what I mean real quick by, by Grub, but basically when you turn on your computer, and you boot into Windows. Instead of just booting into Windows, it'll give you this option right here, choose an operating system to start up Windows and Ubuntu. This is how I have it configured. Now yours probably won't look exactly like this because I have it custom configured, but we're gonna boot into Windows for this to fix it. And so that's what Grub looks like. Now I'm gonna show you how to basically remove this and just have it default boot into Windows and reset it back to the default boot. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is open up a command prompt as administrator, and then you're just going to type B C D edit and then scroll up a little bit to Windows Boot Manager and look over here where it says path and as you can see it's set to EFI Ubuntu Grub x64.EFI that basically means that my current bootloader is set to Grub and that's what gives you that option to select between Windows and Linux but let's say you don't want that anymore and you want to just go back to default Windows bootloader here's how you're going to want to do it you want to type this specific command bcd edit forward slash set and then in brackets boot mgr path slash efi backslash microsoft backslash boot backslash boot mg fw Dot EFI. I'll have this in the description, but you can also just type it in just like this. And that is basically the command right here. All you want to do is just click enter. The operation completed successfully. And now just to make sure it worked, when we type BCD edit again, and we scroll up, as you can see, it's no longer Ubuntu. It is now EFI Microsoft boot MGFW.EFI. This is the default bootloader for Windows. And so I'll show you guys right now, if I restart my computer, Alright guys, so just to show you proof that this worked and to show you what it should look like when it works, I have shut off my computer and when I hit the power button, basically it's going to show the Windows logo, show the same thing, the unlock is because I have secure boot uh, disabled, but basically it's just going to load right into Windows, there's no selecting what operating system to start, and if we look here it should just go right to the login screen, which is taking a second to boot. But it should just give it a second here and boom as you can see it just booted right to windows no selection of an operating system necessary that's because we have successfully switched from grub to the default windows bootloader all right so i'm back on my pc here that's pretty much the main thing i want to show you guys for this video but one thing i just want to show you real quick is what happens if you want to change back from windows to the default Grub bootloader. Now the reason I'm switching this in the first place back to Windows is because Windows update wasn't working with Grub and so I switched it back to Windows, did the update and now what happens if you want to switch back to Grub? Well it's actually pretty simple. Uh, you basically want to run the same command just with a different path and you're just going to do this one right here. BCDI slash set. It's the same thing except the path is slash EFI slash Ubuntu slash Grub x64.EFI. If you just set that, there we go, the operation completed successfully. Um, but I actually want to keep the Windows default bootloader, so I'm just going to have that set. I just want to show you guys, basically, if you want to switch back and forth, that's how you can do it. And also, if you want to create a couple batch scripts right here like I did, I threw them in uh, System32. But basically, I have set grub and set Windows, which I'll show you the code for. It's a very simple batch script. I go off and it just does that same command, basically. Uh, and the same for Windows. And so basically, if I want to switch to bootloader real quick, instead of typing that command, I can just be like, okay, Windows. And right here, the operation completed successfully. And so that's pretty much about it for this video. I just want to show you guys real quick because I had Grub installed and I couldn't figure out how to get back to Windows. And I actually tried to set it back to Windows and I chose the wrong EFI file and it completely corrupted the bootloader. And I had to, I couldn't get into any operating system and I had to grab a flash drive and put recovery media on it and do some stuff to get into command prompt so I could basically fix what I did. Um, but if there's a video that just said do this, then I would have been fine. So that's why I'm just making this video real quick. 
To anyone who is having a similar problem and doesn't know how to get back to the default Windows bootloader, hopefully this helps, hopefully this helps you guys out. So yeah guys, that's pretty much about it. That's me it for the video. Any video suggestions, just drop a comment and I'll see if I can make it happen. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.